Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Now today's video is a Sejuani commentary, which will be running alongside the guide that is also going to be released tomorrow. Um, so make sure you check out that. Um, but yeah, play Sejuani. She's quite popular in the current meta. I'm just going to ward down here. Uh, so just my enemy team, just to kind of say, is a LeBlanc, Lucian, Annie, Aurelia, and Skana. And I am Sejuani, Lux, Scion, Severe, and Morgana. So the team comps honestly are a bit similar. Uh, jungle wise, I don't rate Skana that much, but looking over uh, on my other screen, I can see that this guy is a main Skana. And um, he's actually technically uh, the 44th best Skana in the world. I'm sure there are not many Skana players out there, so I don't know how big that achievement is, but nonetheless, he is a Skana player. So uh, yeah, and I've recently picked up Sejuani, um, because of her popularity and her strength, especially with the new jungle item. Um, so they're running into the pit. No idea why. They don't actually have that much catch potential from the pit. Bit weird, but um, yeah. They've thrown one ward there and one ward there, so they've missed two wards. I, again, don't know why they're focusing this bush so much, because they don't have like a Blitzcrank or anything like that. Um, but, you know, whatever. Right, take W first. Hopefully Severe can get here. I don't know what she's doing. Being really defensive. And here we go. So Sejuani fills the role of a tank jungler that actually can do some damage. She's kind of like Scion in that respect. Like, you just build um, damage on Scion, but you'll find that you can actually do a decent amount to the backline. Um, and the same with Sejuani. Now, you can go AP Sejuani. It's not terrible. But I would definitely recommend going tank. And that's what I will be doing in this game. Unless I start the snowball. And obviously snowballing as a Sejuani is not the easiest thing to do. Because you're not really that aggressive in the early game. My phone just went... Bzz. So you'll probably find that you can just do the normal clear on Sejuani. So your first camp, then a buff, then the other buff. And then just base and then look for start looking for ganks. Once you hit level 3, you have all the spells you need until level 6 to actually be effective. Um, so, yeah. She's a pretty fun jungler. Her ultimate is the best thing about her, just to kind of get that out there really quickly. Like, if you playing Sejuani, you're pretty much playing her for your ultimate. And that's pretty much it. Um, her utility is okay in other areas, but, you know, it's not strong like as much as her ultimate is. All right, I'm going to base. First blood, it goes down to bot lane, but Lucian goes down. It's not really worth it, in honest. You know, Lucian got the kill where Armorgana got the kill. Um, so obviously their AD carry is now a kill ahead. Both AD carries died, so neither of them are farming. So I might have to look at that lane of helping it out if it continues to go a little bit poorly. Um, Severe is actually known as a rather safe lane phase, so I'm not sure... How she managed to die that quickly. Maybe it's just, you know, that she just said. Maybe he's just playing stupidly aggressive. Who knows? Make sure you get into the middle of the camps with your W up so you affect everything. Lux is asking for help, so I'll go there in a second. Okay, we'll go over there. Maybe even top lane. But it might. Simon might get a kill. No. Okay, I'm in the area. I'm not sure how or, you know, if we can get a kill. Is that the right one? It's not even the right one. Yeah, I got XP for it. Uh, Skana got a kill on Scion. Not good. And bot lane died again. I might be able to pick up a cheeky kill on the Aurelia if she pushes. Use that precious mana. If she goes for this one over here, then I'll go for the kill. sucks close but no cigar okay mm -hmm. 
I don't know what's happening in bot late, bottom lane, but I don't know. Like, is, they actually said that Sophia was a smurf as well, and she wanted AD carry. So, who knows? But honestly, Sergio only has a decent lane phase. Like, if she counter ganks or even ganks, it's actually quite strong. But I'm actually gonna like smite that just in case Skana comes in this jungle. Just want extra vision at the moment. Um, but her main objective is team fighting. That's where you get the lead on Sejuani, more so than other junglers. A massive ultimate can just literally change everything. I'm gonna go mid in a second. It's kind of hard to uh, kill a uh, LeBlanc, but okay, she's about to ward in there. I think she warded, so yeah, I'm gonna go bot lane. <sighs> She's warded. And I need to help this bot lane. They are really far behind. Oh, that missed. I want to give it to my AD carry. Uh oh, I thought I had a stack of the coldness on him, but I didn't. That's good, we got a kill for her. How's mid? Ooh, really close to death. Hopefully she actually leaves, to be honest, because there could be a Skarner, because he should be around blue. Oh no, he stopped. Okay, I take his blue. That's bad timing for uh, Scion to go in, but what can you do? Ooh. And LeBlanc killed Lux, because she overstayed. You can't stay when... Uh, Huh. Okay, he did die. It's good that he died, but... Mm. I'm gonna counter jungle this. Bit risky, because of how low health I am. But... Uh, everybody's dying. Okay, I'm gonna go kill LeBlanc. Give me... Oh, she still had flash. I didn't think she'd have flash, like, killing Lux. <clears throat> I don't get why Sevilla's like, you guys are too mad. They're just getting beat. So, who knows. Hopefully I can start making an impact soon, though. I'm gonna go do blue and then I'm gonna base, get some items, and then try help bottom lane. Like, I got a one kill, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. Or hasn't made any difference. Like, her positioning is just terrible. But yeah, this game's been a rather like average start. Like, nothing special has happened. That was low. If Skana was there right now, I'd be dead. Sion has to be careful because he's got, died twice now from Skana and like he's got pretty poor vision. Um, do do virus straight away, and then also upgrade our trinket, and we can head down the bottom lane. The Blanc could be up here, so I'd be careful. Like, it just looks like Severe's way too eager. Like, sometimes it's okay to give up CS if you're behind. Because you'll just die for it. And I think that Severe just doesn't know when to give it up. Like, she's always always trying to get the CS. Even when it's quite bad. Alright, we can kill them. Uh. Leave. Okay, they got dragon. Cause she's so quick. To, oh yeah, I was.
That was close. Good kill. Right, they got dragon. Um, Drake would be... Uh, I tried to see if I could get in range for that, but no. Uh, oh well. Lux is walking straight into a LeBlanc. Probably. Let's build the boots. Mm, wrong screen. What's doing well? Okay, health is really effective against the enemy team in this game. And health obviously helps Sejuani, so... That one. Yeah. She doesn't have the damage yet. Like, her build is rather defensive, um, Lux build so far. She is building the Morello, but she hasn't got it yet. Um, defensive was the wrong word, just kind of, like, slow. Oh. That's what you get for staying at low health, to be honest. Lux has done that a few times this game. Yeah, bot should have said SS, but to be fair, this Lux has stayed around really at low health quite often this game. Um, which is actually not really good, but what can you do? Alright, Siren's got no vision, so I'm just going to ping just to kind of make him a bit more aware. Uh, because he has died twice from them ganks. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, there you go. He should have just ulted. He's dead again because he doesn't have any vision. Kill him. It, taking the killers on Sejuani is not terrible, but obviously I would have preferred if I gave it to her. Right, there's a ward. I'm here to take the blue. LeBlanc might come though, which is a bit risky. I know there's a ward there now though. I don't think think uh, I could take it it is risky me taking this like I have no idea where Skarner is but Morgana's positioning just get out of there I got the blue buff again so me denying the blue buffs really good Means that's just me having timer on it, but now Skarner does have timer on it as well. Because obviously he stood right next to me. So I'm actually really strong at the moment, especially when I in my next pack. I'll have a lot of gold to spend. And like our team it will get extremely tanky in the late game. Like even Lux. Lux gets tanky because of her shield. Like her shield with the, the amount of AP she gets in late game is a lot. Um but the mat the matchup that is this mid lane is quite a weak matchup for Lux because of her lack of mobility. Um, I'm gonna stay in mid lane for the mo he missed. That would have been a kill. Cyan, yeah, he's got no vision. Oh, he might be okay. Nope. The thing that's killing the Cyan is not having vision in river. <clears throat> I will not hide behind another shield. They know I'm coming. That's a good kill. Makes me really strong. I might actually build some AP because how fed I am. Oh, there was a ward around here somewhere. There you go. Good of Morgul. Really good Morgul. Oh! Oh my god, she lived. Cool. I'm going to do a bit more farming. I'm allowed to. Nothing's going to happen. I think Drake might be in a minute though. I think it's around. I'm gonna ward. I'm gonna smite that just so 
Like, I'll have Smite for when Dragon is up. I could probably kill their Lucio one-on-one -on -one right now as well. Um, I'm actually going to build a Haunting Guys. Like, you will see this in the guide, that this is an optional extra if you're doing really well. Um, is the Haunting Guys, because it adds a little bit more damage to you. Um, and then I'm also going to build the Ages next. I should have bought a Pink Ward there. Don't know why I didn't. More forgot than anything, but yeah, pink wood there would have been good. We've got item slots and spare gold, and don't have one on the map, so there was no real excuse for me not having one. Mm. Lux's positioning this game is a bit questionable. There's Dragon. Yeah, I thought, oh, we, we could do it like right now. He's dead. Uh, no vision again. We do get Dragon for it. Like, this Scion should still be useful, even if he's, like, miles behind, which obviously he is. Because all he really needs to be is a brick house. Like, he doesn't build damage, thank God, on Scion. Let's go in this bush. Okay. They shouldn't have any wards. Oh, Luxy, Lux, Lux, Lux. Uh, she might live. Yep. This actually... Down. Cool. Alright, we're getting fed, just us three. I was about to go in and then Skarna. <sighs> but yeah, Sion died again because he doesn't have vision. To me. To what me? Oh, he's still dead. I'm gonna give him the kill. There you go. He is like quite weak. What's he got? He's nearly got Sunfire. See, I don't think rushing Sunfire against Aurelia is the optimum thing to do. I think he should be rushing Frozen Heart. It gives you armor, it gives you an attack speed reduction, which is like amazing versus him. Oh. I wonder how long that's been, just a small wolf. I'm going to go buy again because I've got a lot of gold and I should have the yeah, Ages component. So I'm going to be very tanky. Me being very tanky is actually a really good thing because it makes me... Like, in the front line, if your front line doesn't die, it allows your bottom lane to do more... Or back line to do more damage. Because, obviously, they're trying to focus the tank who's not dying. Because I will be doing damage to them, um, surprisingly. That was actually nice. I would have... Oh, uh, God. This is why as an AD carry with no vision, you should not go alone. But I think she's actually going to be okay. She's actually probably going to kill her. It's this one. Come, 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 come. I'm going to slow it just to make sure he hits the ultimate. And he got the kill. That's good. I actually am happy that Scion got the kill. Normally you don't want your tanks to get kills, but this Scion is so far behind. Feeding him some free gold, you know, is pretty good. Severe can have that. <clears throat> I will not weakness. Oh. Oh, or just blind. More kills for moi. Um, let's kill that. Why not? <laughs> Goddamn scions. Always give that to your jungler. Hey up. Gonna give that to Lux. Kill it. There we go. How did I get that? This is crazy. This is brilliant, man. I'm gonna kill everything. Mm. 
Yeah, baby! Ah! I want a pen. Oh. <laughs> Let's leave. Oh. All right, I'm fed. Like, well, I've been fed for a while, but... Sejuani, I'd actually say, is one of the few tank junglers that actually... Oh. <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> Sejuani, oh, sorry, is... um one of the few tank junglers I believe actually can carry a game. Normally tank junglers don't do any damage. Sejuani does. Which makes her kind of stand out in terms... I actually... Sorry if you hear shouting, by the way. I just really quickly say that uh, Wales is currently playing rugby and my family is Welsh. So, yeah, they get quite passionate uh, when uh, Wales is playing rugby. Um, which you might hear. I don't know. This Annie is BM as hell. Like, what's the point of, like, putting that little word in? Get ready. Go, go. Eep. Ugh. Yeah, I really do hear shouting from downstairs. You little... Oh, you chaos but oh, uh, It feeds him gold. You know, he's been doing really bad and suddenly he's now got four kills. So, all right. I've got control of the enemy jungle. And then... Okay, I'm going to say the blue buff. Red buff, even. That's not blue. There could be an Aurelia coming, but she can't kill me. I'm building my Frozen Heart next as well. Walk past them to kill them. Um, They're killing that. Lux doesn't have ultimate, otherwise I'd really want her to ult that. I doubt I'm even going to be able to kill the Skana. Oh, right, I will, probably. Yeah, he's dead. I'll go bot lane. LeBlanc can't even touch me. Oh yeah, dragon. Okay. Yeah, war mogs in, again in this game, as I said in the early stages, is amazing because like they don't have a tank killer. Like Aurelia has not gone Bork. Lucian has not gone Bork. He's not really a tank killing AD carry anyway, and like they can't kill tanks. And health is what I mean. LeBlanc. LeBlanc can obviously kill people, but uh, why are you there? That positioning, like, she's had really bad positioning all game. But it probably will lead them dying, to be honest. Like, we're flanking them now. <sighs> Don't try to take my CS. Alright, kill that ward. Uh... Don't. <laughs> Smite 60. Baron without your AD carry is a bit uh, questionable. Yeah, as in, don't do it. Ever. Pretty much. Especially when it's only 23 minutes into the game. Like, I do a lot of damage to these guys because I'm stupidly ahead, but I won't do much damage to Baron. Okay, I'm actually going to go back because I got my Frozen Heart. I could actually go Glacial. This is where, like, as I will mention in the guide, build item builds are like, you can just build anything, really. Like, as long as it makes sense in what you're doing build it like you have to have justification of why an item is good why would gauntlet be good is because i'm really ahead and it adds damage why is frozen heart good because it gives me the attack speed slow which makes me tankier as well with the armor which is good you know both of them are good and i've chosen to go more tankier than anything because you know how much i am ahead i'm 8010 as i said Juani, with 112 farm which is equal, e nearly equal farm to my solo laners which both of them arguably are doing really bad but yeah Oh, hey, she flashed into the ult. We should win this team fight fairly easily. Come on. Come on, Sire. They're oom. They're oom. There we go. Now kill him. Keep hitting them, Lux. And Kapowie. Oh, 
Nearly. You nearly got him. There we go. There's an ace. So I just really just went in for a team fight, and I didn't even I forgot to use locket. My bad. But I just went in because I how fed I am. I was like, screw it, let's go in. And that's kind of what you have to identify. And this is how a lot of people say, hey, I get a good KDA, but I still lose the game. It's up to you if you've got if you're the fed person on your team, you have to go in. You have to make the play. My team was not ready to go in, but I just decided. I'm going in. I actually missed my ultimate because Lucian was just out of range. But yeah, I just went in. If you are fed, you have to be the one to make the plays. But anyway, that was pretty good. We, we, we aced them. You know, I got, I think, one or two of them. Um, I think I got two of them in total. But yeah. Questionable. Why would you exhaust? I would have bound. That was a free bat. Like, oh. Oh, we good. I'm gonna go help Severe. Oh, hell. Alright, get in the middle, get in the middle, get in the middle, get in the middle, get in the middle. So, we haven't had Severe this team fight, and we still kind of won it. Like, yeah, we're winning this game fairly easily. I didn't use it again. Derping at the moment, but oh well. We, I'd say arguably, ooh. Ooh, that was so close to kill her. If she didn't react as quick as like she needed to for the W. So as you probably noticed, Sejuani ult is actually off a really low cooldown. Like, it's already back up. Um, and I l just used it. So, it, it's pretty effective. That's why Sejuani is a good champion. Excuse me. It's because her ultimate is, like, amazing. And her ultimate is not on a really high cooldown. I got Abyssal. Okay. Alright, got my Warmog. So, I'm pretty much full build. I can now upgrade my uh, Locket... Uh, Haunting Guy, sorry, to uh, Leandri's. Which is obviously going to add more damage. And then if I need to carry more, like if you, if I find that I'm so far ahead, but I'm not carrying, like my team's just dying, I'm not doing enough damage, I can sell one of my tanky items for a damage item at this point. You know, I'm miles ahead. I'm going to have a complete item build when, like, my team has probably only got two or three items. So, yeah, it, it's just subject if you want to change your item build or not, really. There you go. Oh, just get him out of the fight. My team should be able to handle. I'm just going to deal with the front line or the back line. Sorry, so they can't get in to do any damage. <laughs> All right, they're focusing the tank like they are literally. All right. And I didn't die. Woo! Lol, focus the tank. I don't know why, like, I am really fed, but I don't do much damage. Nah. Plus. But yeah, them focusing the tank kind of shows that this game is over. Um, which is nice. We can do dragon as well. So it was nice of the commentary. Sorry if it was a bit messy in the early stages. I kind of was just queuing for solo queue and I was like, hey, I'm doing a Sejuani guide. Let's do a commentary to go with it. So I was kind of not prepared in the early stages, but... Um, it's, it's good that I played well in the gu oh, in the guide uh, commentary, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, as I will mention, the guide will be up tomorrow from uploading this. Um, it will point out what runes I'm using, what masteries I'm using. Uh, at the end of this video, it will link to the guide at the in the end slate, but obviously the guide won't be released until tomorrow, so you can't click on it until it's out. Um, oh, I don't really... Want to? I'll just kill this ward. Damn. 
I went a bit too ham then, and we didn't have Severe again. I don't know where Severe went, or where she was, I didn't really look. Oh well. He might get- No, go run to him, you're dead! Run towards the Lucian! It's like Cogmore, when you know you're going to die, don't run away from people, because you've got to go kill them with your passive. It depends how well Severe plays this, but she might hit a triple Q. That's kind of what I was expecting. Oh, go! Hey, triple kill! And Penna. It's a Penna. 1v5 Penna, baby! Penna kill! Hold well on, there we go. That's nice to include in the video. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's great, but that was me being a bit hyphy. Let's say the Voiboy boy word there. As in, I shouldn't have gone in because... I didn't. I honestly didn't really look at my mini map. I had a glance at it. And I was like, "Hey, there's teammates around me." But then the most important person, my AD carry, yeah, he, she wasn't there. So uh, that was my bad. But what can you do? Uh, but that's this is probably going to be the game. This was Sejuani Jungle uh, going alongside with the guide. Again, it will be out tomorrow for those who are watching this when it was uploaded straight away. But yeah, played pretty well. The idea of Sejuani is to play tanky. You can carry as her, like I mentioned. Um, and then all the additional information, runes, masteries, etc. will be in the guide. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys on the Rift. Subscribe if you haven't. Like if you'd like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. So, goodbye.